real life stingray. A real life stingray right here at Cokie Beach in St. Thomas. Big, huge stingray. Welcome back to Royal Caribbean's Oasis of the Sea. Hello, St. Thomas. You're joining myself, Josh, and some friends today as we head off on another amazing adventure. We are Cokie Beach. If you want to hang where the locals do and check out some of the best snorkeling in St. Thomas, don't miss a second of this video. Subscribe if you're new, smash that thumbs up button, and let's get the day going with breakfast in the main dining room. So today we're actually docking in St. Thomas. We're gonna be docking at noon today. It's just uh, right before nine o'clock right now. So we've got just a couple hours to go. We should start to see the island, I would think though, or, or the island surrounding right about the time that we get done with breakfast. So we'll have to head outside. The uh, Virgin Islands should be coming into view here very, very shortly, I would think. So we'll head outside and check that out. I'm um, not sure what else is on the itinerary for this morning. There was some rock climbing. I think Gary said he was gonna head up top and ring the bell this morning. <laughs> <laughs> he told me he was gonna race me to the top. I said, good luck, Grandma. He said, eat my dust, Grandpa, and there we go. So, um, we'll see what happens there, and a lot more fun coming this morning on Oasis of the Sea. Oh, man, just a beautiful day. Look at Central Park right there. Whoa! That's a long way down. And good morning from our balcony here on Oasis of the Seas. We have a beautiful ocean view. Hey, Mr. Peter. Good morning. Good morning. So a little update on Peter. Peter is not feeling it the best. Um, so he has a little stomach issue going on. It is not COVID, so that's good. They've already tested him. He's good and clear there. Um, but just to be on the safe side, he is going to stay on the ship today and kind of rest up. So we'll miss you in port today, buddy. Hopefully he can get out there with us tomorrow, crossing our fingers. Like I said, it is not, it is not COVID. They already tested him, they already cleared him for that. He's good there. He just is having some stomach issues, some stomach pain. He's not feeling the best, and so he, he wants to make sure that he doesn't go out and, you know, potentially get himself into trouble <laughs> out on the island. So are you feeling okay? How are you enjoying your, uh, your, your, brand, your bland diet here? <laughs> It's bread with no butter. Bread with no butter. And oatmeal. But yeah, no, it's it's good. Sounds disgusting. You know what? I'd rather be not feeling well here on a cruise ship than... Than stuck at, at home. And even though he's not feeling the best, look at the view that he's got. I mean, that is just... You get to watch the ocean all day. And, and the weather, too. It's, it's great weather. It's not too hot over here. I really like this boardwalk room. And I know what you're thinking, Josh, aren't you with a large group? Yes, I am. And so Royal Caribbean actually did move me to a different room. Uh, I'm in a Central Park balcony just to be on the safe side. Like I said, we, you know, we, we, we want to take every precaution necessary here. We don't want to get anybody else, you know, anything that's going around. As can happen with cruise ships at time, uh, it's easy for that kind of stuff to spread. So we're being on the safe side and they just moved me to a different room while Peter gets to get and feeling better. So yeah, buddy, we'll miss you today, but uh, enjoy your bananas and toast. Guys, look, here's St. Thomas. There she is. How cool is this, Scott? How cool is this? It's awesome, we're pulling in. So this is your first island in the Caribbean, right? Yeah. So here, you know, we've got some of the little dotted Virgin Islands right here. No, we're picturing. Oh, okay. Ready to smile. One, two, three. It's so cute. Look, look, look at that speaker right there. We're going to get you. Ah! All right, we're going to have a little putt-putt competition. Who is calling it? Who's going to win right now? Where's your bets at? This is, uh, this is quickly turning into one big hot mess express out here. All of the balls are yellow, so it's easy to distinguish who of the eight of us has which. Were you yellow or was I yellow? They're yellow. They're yellow? Were, were you yellow? Who was yellow? Who had yellow? Who had the light yellow? Josh, what was your drink this morning? Hello, St. Tom. 
Thomas. Oh, it's gonna be such a good day today. Look at that. Look at the jet skiers. So we're giving El Loco Fresh one more go today. Hello. How are you guys? We're gonna give them one more chance here. Oh, we're getting more ground. Okay, there it is. All right. I'm gonna do one hard, one soft. One hard, one soft? Uh, yes. We're giving them one more chance here. You know what, I, I'm, I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt, you know, that just maybe somebody was having a horrible day yesterday. So here we go. The issue, my biggest issue with it was that it was stale. It was stale yesterday. It's still kind of stale. Yeah. It's not as bad, but it's definitely not fresh. That's the crunchy one. Yeah. Let's try the soft Try the salt. The soft one's good. Okay. The soft one's good. So maybe that's what it is. Is they need to work on their crunchy tacos. Soft tacos are good. Crunchy leaves a little bit to be well, desired. The interesting thing is the chips are fine. Yeah, the chips, chips are fine. Yeah. One, well, I, I really think it's because. If you look at it, like this is like a, as I dump it everywhere, this is like a taco shell that you buy at the grocery yeah. store. It's not handmade. So if I might make a recommendation, Royal Caribbean, you're doing a great job, I would, I would hand make your taco shells, right? Like just like you do with the soft tacos, hand make your hard tacos. And I think the, qual the quality's gonna go up a lot. Bye. Oh. Just checking on Peter there. Poor guy. I feel terrible, but he's told me, he said, no, 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 you have the group. Go out, enjoy the group, be with them. He said all he's gonna do is sleep anyway, but I just want him to get better, you know? Good morning, Jen. Well, you know what, honey? Good, morning. Good afternoon. <laughs> but that's okay. Guys, we are heading to where now? Where are we going? Well, you're already there. We're going to Koki Beach. Koki Beach. Somebody hit that elevator button. We're going to Koki Beach. We got a whole big group going with us. A nice big party. You guys ready for some fun today? All right. Stay our cruise ship docked with the Celebrity Apex at St. Thomas Crown Bay Cruise Terminal. Upon exiting our ship, we made our way to the taxi area where we found a driver that would take us to Koki Beach round trip for $20 per person with stops along the way at some of St. Thomas' best sightseeing locations. All right, is everybody on? Yeah. In one way or another, y'all, we are packed in here. Yeah. We are packed in here. They're going to take us to Drake's seat, he said, and then to Koki Beach. What? Yeah. There's Megan's Bay. That's Megan's Bay right there. Yep. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are, Koki Beach. Look at this. It's really nice. It's small, guys. It's so intimate here. Um, so it's not like Megan's Bay where you've just got beach and beach and beach and beach and it just goes and goes and goes. This right here, nice and secluded and private. Actually right here I think is part of the aquarium I believe is what I was told. Um, but the snorkeling is supposed to be amazing. Wow. Actually a flying fish just went right there. That's crazy. The snorkeling is supposed to be amazing here. So I'm really excited to head out and see what, uh, what fishies are out here. 
I'm not exactly sure what island this is that we're facing, but beautiful day. Beautiful day here in St. Thomas. Boys, you having a good time? You guys look like you're having a great time, all relaxed I mean, out. Geez. I know. Beach chairs here were only $5. $5 for a beach chair, and it was 10 for an umbrella, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, $10 if you get an umbrella. But we don't need an umbrella, because we're actually right here in the shade. Yeah. You guys got a really nice oh, yeah. spot in here, right up by the water. So overall, not bad, and then, um, let's see. Then we've got drinks here, so you've got uh, soft drinks, you've got beers, you've got daiquiris, you've got uh, $12 specialties, like a painkiller, rum runner, um, man, awesome drinks there. Tropical Blast. A couple members in our group had spoken really highly of Cokie Beach, and so I was just dying to get in and check out the amazing waters that everybody was talking about. It surely did not disappoint. What an amazing day today in St. Thomas. everyone had a great day in St. Thomas today and this group is really starting to feel like a family. Our driver Jocelyn was absolutely fantastic, took great care of us and even showed us a little bit of downtown and offered to stop and let us do any shopping on our way back to Crown Bay. I highly recommend her. Diamonds International. here in the Port of St. Thomas. Uh, great day out in Port. I really did have a good time at Cokie Beach. What about you, Frank? Yes, I did. It was good. Yeah, it was nice. It was good. Uh, nice local beach. Definitely yeah. a local beach. Like, if you want something not as touristy, yes. definitely check out Cokie Beach. Right now, we're just looking through the souvenirs, seeing what we like, what we want. Ooh, that coffee mug is actually nice. I actually kind of like that. Actually ended up getting it. I really liked it, Frank. I love it. I really liked it. Yeah, it was very nice. It's like, uh, I don't know, it had like, it was a rubber on the outside. Like, but too. also like a basket weave. Yeah, kind of I don't know. It just was really, like, it's like yeah. rustic looking, yes. you know? I liked it. And I'm getting a uh, Christmas honor for Peter since he couldn't be out with us today. We wanted to get him something so that he felt a part of the gang, a part of the group. So we got that. And uh, it's time to head back. Back to our ship, Oasis of the Seas. Beautiful night here in St. Thomas. Frank, have you sailed out at night before? Yes. Love it. Uh, it is Curacao always magical. Yep. Always so magical. So we'll have a nighttime sail away. We're actually gonna have dinner up at the barbecue place. Look at these guys. Uh, what is this? Portside Barbecue. Portside Barbecue, Eva. 
gonna be some good stuff. Let's get in here and see what they got. Oh man, now this is a time where I wish that everybody had 4D. I wish they could smell this, Tracy. This smells heavenly. Oh, yummy. Mm-hmm. case of my eyes moving into my stomach. But you know what, I had to try it. I had to try it, I'm glad I did. The chicken's fantastic, I'm ripping that apart right now. Uh, really, everything is great. The, the corn was a little dry, if I'm being honest, but I mean, that's if I'm being picky. And I'm trying to find something wrong with it. It's really, really good. It's really, really good. You gotta come check this barbecue out. 100%, how was your turkey, Tracy? And the burnt end too, you and David both got the burnt end. Michael, what you, you had the brisket and the ribs? Pulled pork. Pulled pork. Oh yeah, the pulled pork's good too. Frank, how was yours? Uh, fantastic brisket and the pulled pork. Mac and cheese is really good too. Everything good, huh? Solid, two thumbs up. I give it two thumbs up. Great, great dinner here in St. Thomas. We're actually about to pull away right now. And then uh, it's gonna be Cats, the musical. Now, we will not be recording any of that for you guys because it is copyrighted, but just know that it is a Broadway-style show right here on Oasis of the Seas that you can have the opportunity to see on your next cruise. So that's what we're up to tonight. We'll check in with you in just a little bit. There we go. We're gone. Bye-bye, St. Thomas. It's been real. It's been fun. Today, today has definitely been real fun. It was short. It was sweet. I have to come back. And we can stay a little longer, but uh, this was good. This was fun today. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Peter. Hello. How are you? How you feel? 100%. All right, good deal. So what's the update? When, when do you get to leave? Tomorrow morning at 8, I'm mm -hmm. going down to take uh, one last COVID test just to be 100% safe. And once that is clear as negative, then I am cleared from the cabin. Yay! <laughs> That's what we like to hear. That's what we like to hear. And just to keep you in mind, I am all the way on the other side of the cabin. I know it doesn't look like it, but I'm all the way over here. And this bed He's all the way over there. Yeah, and I'm in, yeah, as you guys know, I'm in a completely separate cabin up in Central Park. I just popped in here to check on him. I've been checking on him all day today. We hate that he couldn't come out in St. Thomas, but uh, actually a lot of people have. Jen has been checking in on him, and Rob, and Scott. Everybody's been trying to keep him company, and uh, that's the good thing, right? It's like a lot, of, a lot of friends are on board this crew, so we've all been checking in on him and making sure that he's doing okay and, and you know, being there for him where we can, so. I like any visitors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I told him, I was, like, I was like, Peter, do you want me to stay here? Do you want me to... You know, stay with you in this room. I mean, we, you know, we did that on Mardi Gras, and um, you know, he said, "No, nah, go out and have a good time. You know, be with the group. You got the group to be with." So, I, I figured it was the least we could do. So we snuck him some, uh, we snuck him some brookies from upstairs. These were actually amazing, absolutely fantastic. They put him back on a regular diet for tonight because he is feeling so much better. So it was okay. It was okay for me to bring him that. I'm not breaking any rules or anything <laughs> like that. I just wanted him to have a little enjoyment in here in this room. If you guys want to know more information about the Boardwalk Balcony, I'm sure Peter can tell you all about it. <laughs> One hour later. All right, we just, we didn't do it. Could not do it, I'm sorry. We, we made it 45 minutes, maybe, and, and we just had to, listen. we made it 45 minutes. Listen, listen, I, I'm not saying that it's, I'm not saying that it's a, okay, I'm saying it. I don't like the show, I think it's a horrible show. The performers were great. The performers were fantastic, let's make that clear. It's the story. Yeah, it's the story. It was not the performers, it was not the singers. The talent was amazing, the story, Oh, unbelievable. It doesn't belong here. It no, doesn't belong on a cruise ship. It was like depressing. Like I felt like I, I was sad and, and, and like 
just depressed yeah. watching the show. Creepy. It, 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 the complete opposite of last night at Aqua 80, yeah, really, where yeah. we were happy and enthralled and, and, and couldn't it, stop talking about it. And couldn't it. stop talking. Now we can't stop talking about it, but about it's the fact of right how right. it doesn't make any sense how it's still on this ship. So yeah. Yeah, definitely a miss is. here, uh, Royal Caribbean. I would beg you, beg you to get this show off of this ship. Yeah. And, and I'm, we're not alone either. Like every no, every two minutes, like people just keep leaving, keep walking out of the theater. They keep leaving. I've never seen so many people exit a show. So it's unfortunate. Like I said, the performers are phenomenal. They're doing a great job. It's just bad. a story. I feel bad for leaving. For, yeah, you know, I do too. The performers, I yeah. Mean, good God. You couldn't, we couldn't stand there. No. no, no. Not for another hour and a half. No. Couldn't do it. No, I know. Every time it ends, some some more people walk out. All right, so we're making a drink here. I'm coming visiting my friends, our robot friends. We got to get a drink spot. That was, yo. Even a dog was walking out of that show. You know, you know it was bad when a dog, literally a dog, like a dog, was walking out of that show. There was a dog coming out of the theater. Yeah. There he goes. Oh man, a good night. Good night. Full of shenanigans, full of fun, full of cats that we absolutely. Oh man, that was. Cats. It was an adventure. It was an adventure, wasn't it, boys? Adventure, all right. Dogs running from cats. Boys, did you have a good day today? We did. Yeah. I had a good we day had a today great day. too. I hope you guys had a good day with us as well. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new. And until tomorrow, my name is Josh with these wonderful fellas right here. Today's been real. Today's been fun. Today has been real fun. And we'll see you tomorrow. In St. Martin. Martin. Bye, everybody! Bye.